Greetings, it is I, the Dalek Emperor, and welcome back to another Dalek cast. Now, apparently we have one question here today, and it is, where do Daleks dump their waste? Well, we dump our waste in the, in the crucible or Dalek saucer disposal unit. As you may recall, you saw one of our disposal units when we took care of Jack Hartness at one time on the Crucible in the episode Journey's End. And you're probably wondering where that disposal waste goes. Well, it goes into the core of the Crucible. Anyway, on to the reactions then. There are some video ideas, but apparently I can't seem to see them, sadly. So if you could, like, type the video idea again, I'll probably do it for next Starlet cast. Anyway, without further ado, let's observe. Okay, so we have two videos. Two, uh, our first two. Hold on. Let me just... Uh, oh, hold on. I uh, don't know why that happened, but yes, um, we have two videos made by Dalek HQ, and I think these are Dalek VR chat videos, which I'm rather intrigued by. Let us observe them then. Report. The inferior Daleks escaped and destroyed the Inquisitor General. Explain! Then perhaps these Daleks are not as weak as we anticipated. Correct. It is of no consequence to me. I think these are paradigm Daleks, aren't they? And also, I like... I presume that... That Dalek is a, is a time controller. Excellent. Nice attention to detail. I wonder if they, they actually customize their Dalek casings for, for VR chat. The experiment is a success. Excellent. The evolution has begun. Perfect. The Inquisitor General has served his purpose, and the final phase of the Dominion can begin. Oh dear. And what of the objective? What of the objective? I have already sent Dalek units to recover it. Excellent. This is our position. We will break this universe and bring all impurities to their knees. Yes, yeah, sir. I like the design on the smaller Dalek casings. They're, they're very good, in fact. Before they are silenced. And I'm guessing... is that... I'm guessing that's an Emperor, then. A Dalek Red is army of impurities. What can they do but burn? Yes, what can they do but burn? The Master Race will return. Excellent video, Dalek. Awesome video, Dalek HQ. But yes, apparently these are part of a thing called VR Chat, which is a game basically where anybody can be anybody. I've been think thinking about VR Chat and probably. One day, probably, I'm going to use it one time, but I, I, I don't know if it, it'll, it'll allow me to um, use my particular casing. Anyway, let's continue. The, this next video is called We'll Be Ready. Again, all credit will go to Dalek HQ. Let's observe. The Master Race have grown in power. Their new design almost destroyed us. Oh yes, um, you should um, probably check that Dalek because he's just like crumpling up. Impossible. We always survive. Yes, we 
That actually looks good. The, um, you know, the spherical beam locators around the, um, around the neck area, that's good. They did defeat us. We were proud the midsection, I mean. Their technology. Our whole is truly got in. Wow, these designs are spectacular. I wish, yes, Russell T. Davis, t take notes of these um, Dalek designs. You could use one of these designs for your future Time War, des uh, for your future Dalek design. The casing seems to be made of a mix between Dalekanium and Davros. What a surprise! With their casing powered by Dalek technology, beyond my understanding. Their Elgram must be more intelligent than we have ever foreseen. It matters not. Yes. Davros and I have studied the casings and weapons of these new Daleks. Really? Strong, but not invincible. No. Yes, they are strong, but not invincible. Also, I love that design. I'm guessing that's some kind of emperor design. I like it. I like the glowy things around the spherical beam locators. Why can't I have lighty things on my spherical beam locators? Next time, the so-called master base attack. Yes. It is time we show the true power of the Daleks. Observe. observe. Wait, observe. Who's that? The trial. Inquisitorial. That looks really good. I like it. Oh, hold on. Awesome 2022. Interesting. Yes, now we have two video, three videos made by Mestor Magic, apparently. As I said, these three videos are made by Mestor Magic. And apparently the first one is called Star Wars of the Daleks. The Emperor is coming here. Yes, um, didn't expect there to be a Star Wars Doctor Who crossover. That's something I did not expect to see, but okay. Anyway, without further ado, viewers, let us begin then. So apparently, let's read the blurb also, uh, or could it go to Mr. Magic. Um, I said, let's, let's, um, let's um, observe. Okay, so a death. A Dalek Death Wheel is under construction in deep space, but the project has fallen behind schedule. Will the station commander be able to complete it before the Emperor arrives? Let's observe it then. Why is it Star Wars of the Daleks? That's odd. The Emperor is coming here, that is correct, Commander. And he is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress. Supreme Dalek, this is an unexpected development. We are honored by your presence. No will dispense with your platitudes. I am here to put you back on the issue. Oh, is this, a, is this like a recreation scene of the opening to Return of the Jedi? I see. I assure you, Supreme Dalek, 
See? See? See what I mean about that thing about the first doctor having a scarf? See what I mean in that 
Doctor Adventures um, game. I told you that there'd be a. Um, I told you I thought it would be a trick question because the first Doctor had a scarf. Gallifrey. It is too powerful for any race to control. It must be hidden, buried, and forever. Yes, forever. It is the Doctor. It is the Doctor. I'll expose you him on Sparrow. Yes. Is the drone capable of lethal force? Actually, you're wrong, actually. Um, again, sadly. It was actually the fourth Doctor who the Daleks first saw. It is fitted with a laser that will prove lethal at zero range. But, but yes, kind of correct. Then activate the laser to exterminate the Doctor. Yes, now exterminate the, the Doctor. Would be the ultimate Dalek victory. It would be. Impossible! Typical Imperials! To destroy the Doctor at this point in his timeline would cause incalculable damage! We will proceed with the plan as arranged! The Hand of Omega will be ours! Nothing will stand in the way of future conquests! Onwards! Onwards! The Dalek shall once more become triumphant! Yes, typical Davros. Typical Davros and his constant pontification. Anyway, uh, we have this next video, it is called Descent of the Daleks. And it is about 2 minutes and 20, um, 2 seconds long. And apparently, um, this is a short prelude set during the planet of the Daleks. The Supreme Council orders the creation of the Bacteria Bomb. But not all Daleks are in agreement with this command. Let's begin observing again, then. Mestor, the Magnificent presents the Descent of the Daleks. Spider-Don. I bring you orders from the Supreme Council. Excellent. Speak. The scientific division will prepare a bacteriological culture to wipe out all organic life on Spiridon. Excellent. This will be incorporated into a bomb and detonated in two days' time. You will also synthesize an agent to give immunity to all Daleks and Spiridon slave workers. This course of action is detrimental to our work here on Spyridon. We will not comply. Explain. Explain. There are many unique specimens on Spyridon that may aid future conquests. What? Toxic biological agents that could wipe out whole races within a matter of well. Preposterous. Animal life that could be adapted as useful defenses for our cities on colonial worlds. Very well. Our research into the invisibility of the Spyridons is incomplete. The Supreme Council is no longer interested in this research. No. The planet Spyridon must be sterilized. It must be. Begin the preparation of the bacteria bomb. We... Begin sterilization. It will not comply. Explain. Very well. The Supreme Council has anticipated your descent. A new team of scientists will be allocated to the task. 
escaped in this, um, in the ship, didn't, didn't they? Surely they did. Or, well, my guess is, it sunk, taking some people with it. No, oh no, no, there's lifeboats, good. Because, oh dear, and this is, this is 1915, oh god. Another ship. Now, 
first video apparently is made is not made by not made by Cybernova, but apparently it was made by Keyboarder, and this is about 30 minutes long. Yes, it, it's about 30 minutes long, and is called the Doctor. So visits Minecraft in Ender the Doctor. Now I presume this has something to do with a Minecraft end, but I don't know. And apparently there's a head headphone warning. Let's read the blurb, shall we? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> The Doctor ventures into the cube-based universe that is Minecraft. What wonders will he encounter? What dangers? Follow the Time Lord through space, time and graphics from 1978 to find out. Let's observe then. And apparently this is made in 2014 and apparently involves the Tenth Doctor in this situation. Let's observe. There's the Time Lord himself. Cube World. It's Mr. Sam Shoes and Spiky Hair. I... I miss when, um, he had those things. And then Apple. Apple's a rubbish doctor. I thought you hated them. But wait, doesn't he also hate pears? I think I remember he did hate pears one time, but I can't remember. Oh, it's a Mishima ghosting. An Enderman. Oh dear. No, an advertisement. Just at the last second. What a typical conundrum this is. Oh dear. Yeah, you do realise these are Endermen, not Weeping Angels. If you wanted to get some Weeping Angels, Download the Dalek mod, it's very easy. It's a silver fish. Why is he giving us an apple? Reminds me of that that 
one scene in the flux where the whole different doors appeared out of nowhere and you know you know with all doors and the sun turn and just It reminds, it reminds me of that scene. My 
can see stat battle damage like in the end of time. I don't want advertisements. Anyway. Oh, I get uh, that volume down. Is that an egg? Oh dear. Is he gonna regenerate into Matt Smith again? that silverfish has like a red hat thing. It looks like Wilfred Mott, doesn't it? So, yeah. There could be some symbolism for that, isn't it? Damn. Minecraft style 
this is made by Cybernova. Apparently, all three of these videos that Cybernova have suggested have got a bit of copyrighted material, so I may have to find a way to make it so that um, I, I'm able to react to it. Anyway, let's have a look and observe it then. Oh my goodness! Oh, yes! Copyrighted material, indeed! Ah, there's David Tennant! I don't want to go. Ah, oh, damn. Only a side member of the scene. It's the same matter you regenerate sin. to react to this video um, because of copyrighted material so um, I might have to um, I'll find a way I'll find a way don't worry um, I'll, I'll probably just um, uh, blur this video section um, because of copyrighted material anyway let's uh, continue yes. I still got legs. Good. Come on. Uh, yes. Uh, there appears to be no music. Hi, Ryan. Uh, yes. There appears to be no music in this bit. Anyway, yes. Um. Sorry about the cyber nova. Oh yes. Uh, but uh, for some reason, there appears to be no other m music in this. But I'm guessing it's just. Uh, I'm guessing it's just the same scene, but with. Out music now. Anyway, um, uh, we've got two videos um, next. So, without further ado, let's um, see if um, I'll be able to show those. But I, I doubt it. Uh, so, apparently, the next one is the fourth Doctor meets General Grievous, and apparently, it's um, yeah, um, it's. The scene where Obi Wan battles General Grievous. But yeah, now I'll be able to play some of these sections. Hello there. Doctor, you are a bold one. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember this. This is a bit where he battles, um. Oh yes, 
this is a scene where he battles, uh, where everyone battles General Grievous, my favourite scene. Your move! <laughs> oh! Oh yes, um, uh, here's the next scene, uh, here's the next video that he wishes to show me. Apparently all these, these three videos that Cybernova has made, um, Yeah, all of these, um... Yeah, uh, all, all, all credit will go to, um... Cybernova, the BBC, uh, uh, and of course, um... Keyboarder 200, um, for, for what? Well, for making these videos. And I do not claim ownership of any of these things. These are uh, the, the, the footage in the videos. Anyway, let's continue. So all credit will go to Lucas Film and Star Wars and that. But yeah, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to play, show the footage of these videos, sadly. But um, yeah, sorry about that, Cyber Nova. I'll just show you the audio when show like me actually react. Yeah. The, the video footage because of copyright reasons. Doctor! Shh! Hurry! Coming! good. Those videos are very interesting. Thank you all for for showing me these. Anyway, yes, as I said, I will find a way to make sure that I... I'll find a way to react to edit it so that um, I'll be able to show him a video. Anyway, let's get back to me then. Okay, my fellow subjects, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, well, remember to subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video then. Goodbye. Thanks for